Greetings from the United States. Welcome back to the Nostalgia Channel. In recent days, we've been saddened by the news of some remarkable talents passing away. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we'll recap the stars we've recently lost. Before we dive in, we kindly request your support. If this video or the legacies of these incredible individuals have impacted your life, please consider giving it a thumbs up as a gesture of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Cindy Morgan, whose unforgettable performances in Tron and Caddyshack left an indelible mark on cinema, passed away at the age of 69 from natural causes at her home in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. Born Cynthia Ann Sikorsky on September 29, 1954, in Chicago, Illinois. Morgan's diverse background and education at Northern Illinois University paved the way for a career that made her an icon of both comedy and science fiction. Her portrayal of Lacey Underall in Caddyshack showcased her comedic prowess, while her dual roles as Laura and Yori in Tron solidified her position in cinematic history as part of the pioneering computer-generated film. Beyond her on-screen work, Morgan was recognized for her voice acting, notably as Maithra I in the PC game Tron 2.0, and for her fervent support of the United States military. Her dedication to alleviating the financial burdens of military families, particularly through her involvement in the Caddyshack Reunion Golf Tournament, demonstrated her deep commitment to giving back to those who served. Despite her withdrawal from the public eye after Tron, and absence from Tron legacy, Morgan's impact on fans and the industry remained profound. Her contributions, particularly in bringing to life some of the most memorable characters of the 1980s, stand as a testament to her talent and versatility. As news of her passing spreads, we bid farewell to Cindy Morgan with a profound sense of loss. She was a remarkable actress whose legacy will continue to inspire and entertain generations to come. Jerry Grote, an icon of American baseball and a central figure in the New York Mets' miraculous 1969 World Series victory, passed away at the age of 81 on April 7 due to respiratory failure. Born on October 6, 1942, in San Antonio, Texas, Grote's journey from surviving a devastating tornado as a child to becoming one of Major League Baseball's most revered catchers is a powerful testament to his resilience and determination. A two-time All-Star, Grote was celebrated for his defensive mastery, elevating the Mets pitching staff to unprecedented heights and leaving an unforgettable legacy on the game. Over his 16-year career, he donned the uniforms of the Houston Colt, 45s, New York Mets, Los Angeles Dodgers, and Kansas City Royals. But it was with the Mets that he truly made his mark. His pivotal role in the Mets' 1969 World Series triumph solidified his status as a defensive luminary behind the plate, setting a standard for future generations. Inducted into the Mets Hall of Fame in 1992, Grota's impact extended far beyond the diamond. In his post-retirement years, he dedicated himself to mentoring young players and sharing his profound love for the game through broadcasting. As we fondly remember Jerry Grote, we celebrate a life marked by passion, dedication, and the relentless pursuit of excellence, recognizing his enduring impact on teammates, fans, and communities alike. Cole Brings Plenty, a promising actor renowned for his roles in 1923 and other television series, tragically passed away at the tender age of 27. He was discovered in a wooded area in Kansas on Friday, having been reported missing since the early hours of March 31st. His untimely departure has plunged family, friends, and fans into profound grief. 
Cole, who ventured into acting with appearances in Into the Wild Frontier and the legendary tales of Jim Bridger, was making remarkable strides in the industry, showcasing his innate talent and fervent passion for storytelling. His portrayal in 1923, a prequel to the beloved Yellowstone series, illuminated his promising future and the depth he infused into his characters. The circumstances surrounding his disappearance, along with the subsequent police investigation into allegations of domestic violence, add layers of complexity to his passing. Yet, amidst this turmoil, his father, Joe Brings Plenty Sr., reflected on the outpouring of love and support the family received during the search for Cole. He emphasized the inherent goodness in Cole's heart and the profound impact he had on all who crossed his path. Cole's absence will be keenly felt by those fortunate enough to have known him and by fans who were just beginning to appreciate his craft. As his family and the creative community grapple with this loss, they will cling to cherished memories of his spirit, his contributions to the arts, and the boundless potential that was his. In remembering Cole Brings Plenty, we honor a life characterized by a fervent pursuit of artistic expression and an enduring influence on all who shared in his journey. Tribute to Cole Brings Plenty. Barbara Rush, an esteemed actress whose radiant career illuminated screens for decades in both film and television, peacefully passed away at the age of 97 in Westlake Village, California. Born in Denver and nurtured in Santa Barbara, Rush's journey from university theaters to the dazzling lights of Hollywood is a tale of raw talent, enduring elegance, and unparalleled versatility. Her unforgettable performance in It Came From Outer Space earned her a coveted Golden Globe Award as the most promising female newcomer in 1954, laying the foundation for a distinguished acting career. Rush graced the silver screen with memorable roles alongside cinema's greatest icons such as James Mason in Bigger Than Life, Dean Martin in The Young Lions, and Paul Newman in The Young Philadelphians. Transitioning seamlessly to television, Rush became a beloved household name with significant roles in Peyton Place, All My Children, and her cherished portrayal of Grandma Ruth Camden in Seventh Heaven. Beyond her professional achievements, Rush was a devoted mother to Christopher Hunter and Claudia Cowan, the latter following her mother's footsteps into the world of media as a journalist. Barbara Rush's legacy transcends mere filmography, it's an enduring mark on the entertainment industry as a woman of grace, resilience, and independence. Her performances, spanning from the golden age of cinema to the evolving landscape of television, captivated audiences with her depth and charm. As we fondly remember Barbara Rush, we celebrate a life lived to the fullest, both on and off the screen. Jennifer Leake, an actress celebrated for her iconic roles in the timeless film Yours, Mine, and Ours, as well as on beloved soap operas including The Guiding Light, The Young and the Restless, and Another World, has passed away at the age of 76 after bravely battling progressive supranuclear palsy, a rare neurological disease that marked her final years. Born in Cardiff, Wales in 1947, Leek began her acting career in the mid-1960s, garnering acclaim for her role in Yours, Mine, and Ours, a heartwarming tale of a blended family of 18 children starring Henry Fonda and Lucille Ball. It was during this film that she met and subsequently married Tim Matt, her co-star, marking a significant chapter in both her personal and professional life. Leek's contributions to the realm of soap operas were substantial, with memorable performances that made her a household name in American television. From portraying Gwen Sherman on The Young and the Restless, to Olive Springer, Gordon Randolph on Another World, and Blanche Bouvier on Guiding Light, she showcased her versatility and talent across various roles and storylines. 
Despite encountering hurdles in her career, such as visa issues leading to her withdrawal from a role in Mike Nichols' The Graduate, Leek's performances left an indelible mark on viewers and the entertainment industry alike. By the mid-1980s, she transitioned primarily to a career as a real estate sales agent, but her legacy in film and television endured. Her personal life included marriages to Tim Matt from 1968 to 1971, and later to James Doria in 1977, with whom she shared a 47-year marriage until her passing. Leek's contributions to legendary soap operas, coupled with her exceptional performance in Yours, Mine, and Ours, will be cherished and remembered as significant aspects of her remarkable life and career. She is survived by her husband, James Doria, and her brother, leaving behind a legacy of performances that continue to captivate audiences, ensuring her memory lives on in the hearts of many. Louis Gosset Jr., the trailblazing African-American actor who left an indelible mark on the film and television industry, passed away at the age of 87. His groundbreaking career, spanning over six decades, showcased his versatile talent, from his stage debut at 17 to his acclaimed performances in seminal works like Roots and An Officer and a Gentleman for which he became the first African-American to win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Gossett's early life in Brooklyn laid the foundation for a storied career that would see him breaking barriers and winning hearts. His portrayal of Fiddler in Roots not only earned him an Emmy, but also helped to illuminate the African-American experience, contributing significantly to the discourse on race and identity in America. His role as the stern yet fair gunnery sergeant Emil Foley showcased his exceptional ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters, earning him an Oscar and a permanent place in cinematic history. Beyond his professional achievements, Gosset was a mentor and advocate actively involved in educational programs and charity work, especially in his later years. He was not just a gifted actor, but a cultural icon who used his platform to effect change, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers to follow in his footsteps. Gosset's legacy extends beyond his filmography. It lies in the barriers he broke, the conversations he sparked, and the paths he paved for those who came after him. As the world mourns his passing, his contributions to the arts and society will continue to be celebrated ensuring that his impact will be felt for generations to come. Vontae Davis, a former NFL cornerback renowned for his tenure with the Miami Dolphins, Indianapolis Colts, and Buffalo Bills, tragically passed away at the age of 35 on April 1st. He was found dead in his Florida home by his grandmother, leaving many in shock. Authorities have indicated no suspicion of foul play. Davis, celebrated for his athleticism and competitive spirit, made a lasting impact on the NFL, earning two Pro Bowl selections during his career. Beyond his on-field achievements, Davis made headlines in 2018 with his mid-game retirement a moment that emphasized his commitment to personal integrity and well-being over professional expectations. This unexpected decision shed light on the importance of mental health and the pressures faced by athletes, further solidifying his legacy as a player unafraid to prioritize his life beyond the game. His commitment to wellness continued post-retirement with his involvement in a holistic wellness spa aimed at helping others achieve their health goals. Vontae's sudden loss reverberates deeply across the sports community, and among those who admired him for his courage both on and off the field. His legacy will be remembered as one of immense talent, heartfelt passion, and the courage to follow one's convictions. Fritz Wepper, a luminary of German cinema and television, passed away in Munich at the age of 82. His death, 
occurring less than six months after that of his brother, marks the end of an era for fans worldwide. Wepper was renowned for his role as Inspector Harry Klein, which made him a household name and a symbol of the crime genre's golden age. His career, spanning over six decades, showcased a versatile talent that thrived in both dramatic and comedic roles, leaving a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Wepper's journey into the arts began in his childhood, leading to a breakthrough role in Derek, a poignant exploration of youth and war that garnered international acclaim. His performance in Cabaret as Fritz Wendell offered a compelling narrative thread in a film celebrated for its critique of Nazi ascendancy, further cementing Waper's place in cinematic history. Beyond the silver screen, Waper's portrayal of the cunning yet endearing mayor Wolfgang Wielander in Um Himmel's Villain brought joy to millions, exemplifying his ability to capture the hearts of viewers off-screen. His life was full of passion and complexity, from his long-standing marriage to Angela Von Morgan and their shared screen presence with their daughter Sophie, to his later life and relationships that captured public interest. Fritz Wepper's contributions to film and television are immeasurable, not only in the memorable characters he brought to life, but also in the inspiration he provided to actors across generations. His friendship with icons like Liza Minnelli highlighted his influence beyond German borders, weaving him into the broader tapestry of global entertainment culture. As the world remembers Fritz Wepper, his work continues to resonate, embodying the spirit of an actor whose legacy will forever be cherished. Recently, we and you all went on a journey together to say goodbye to famous people who have recently passed away. Thank you for your companionship and wish you always have an optimistic, happy, and loving life. Thanks.